paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life. Your wedding day. Just fed up and done with it all. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. I just hope that it doesn't tear our families apart. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high. And she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Becky and Ryan. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. Everything? Everything. I am definitely, definitely high end. I can shoot a gun, but my weapon of choice is the crossbow. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a complete nightmare? This is my day. You keep ruining it. May the best mom win. Becky and Ryan are the cutest couple who just happen to be crazy in love. Becky is kind of this really cute, bubbly personality that it's just so hard to say no to. Hey, Ryan, come and get a cupcake. I'm probably whipped. <laughs> Not probably, you are whipped. <laughs> yeah. I like Ryan's jawbones, physically. <laughs> I like his laid back personality. He's really up for anything. Whatever I say usually goes. Of course. <laughs> We play a lot of video games. We're almost there, we almost got him. We're almost there. Woo! Yes! Good job, yes, we got him. You're the hottest nerd, Dragon Slayer. He helps me with my cupcakes sometimes. He likes eating them more than actually making them. Can I eat this one? Well, I guess. You make the best cupcakes. Thanks. I am a little cupcake. <laughs> sometimes my cupcake gives me a little sugar. Just a little. Well, it definitely wasn't love at first sight. We went on a date, and I was just kind of like, OK, this is something, I'll try it. And then just in getting to know him, I just loved everything about him. From that point on, it was as easy as one, two, three. Becky and Ryan are ready to be wed, but if it's left up to them, they'll never get there. We're so busy. He ha does a lot of freelance work with his side business for programming, and I'm starting up a cupcake business. <laughs> No matter how sticky sweet this duo is, there won't be a wedding without a little push from wedding planner pro Gina Sole. I'm here to meet up with Becky and Ryan today, an adorable couple that has no idea what's about to happen. I hear you guys are engaged, yeah. but don't have the time to tie the knot. No, we don't. <laughs> We're very busy. Well, I can make your wedding happen. Great. But there is one condition. And what would that be? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything, to one of your mothers. Uh. <laughs> everything? Everything. It's always every girl's dream to plan their wedding. Won't get to pick your wedding gown. Won't get to pick the flowers, the venue, the invitations, nothing. Do you trust your mom? Of course I, I trust my mom. I trust my mom. I need your answer now. We'll do it. Yeah. I think, think it's our only option at this point. You'll do it? Yeah. Great. Let's get you married. <laughs> okay, great. Right. Our mothers are very different, so the themes that they're going to be planning will be very different in themselves. Yeah, I think we'll see polar opposites. Our couple is correct. Becky's mom is a confident and controlling diva who's got a penchant for travel and being treated like a queen. Can you have the car ready in 10 minutes, please? I love shopping. I wear heels every day to work. I like to go to the spa. I like to get my nails done. I like to relax in the bath with a good martini. I am definitely, definitely high end. She's definitely high flair. Ryan is a super laid back guy. He's a computer geek and a gamer. So it was a little bit off that Becky picked him, but they say opposites attract, so I think they make a good couple. Ryan's mom, Val, is a laid back country gal who likes hunting and trapping and is the epitome of everything earthy. 
I live in a small town. All there really is to do here is just fish, hunt, or hang out in the barn and have a few beers. Thank cool. you. I'm a get my hands dirty kind of gal. I'm very independent. I work in the garden. I do a lot of my own maintenance, and I can kill my own meat. Not everybody has a mom who's handy with a crossbow. Bullseye. Ooh. To describe my son, he makes me proud for him to call me mom. I think Becky, she's extremely lucky to have found Ryan. These moms are from opposite ends of the spectrum. Val and I are nothing alike. I find Anita to be more of a city snob. Val is the country bumpkin. Anita's really fancy. She goes to the gym, she gets her nails done, she gets facials, and she loves to shop. I go to the grocery store to buy my organic meat. Val shoots her meat in the head. I'm very sociable, I'm organized. I'm just that little bit off. <laughs> it seems there's no common ground when it comes to planning for these nuptials. We want to go away somewhere. Imagine Ryan and Becky running through the forest. He's carrying her. When you walk in, you think you've entered a castle. With his fedora and her flowing white gown on. A beautiful princess dress with a big skirt. But no shoes. And of course, the bling bling tiara on top. As a boulder's chasing them through the forest. <laughs> the simple chocolate and vanilla wedding cake. A three or four tiered cake. A pig roast buffet. A five course meal. There's a band here in town. Has to be a DJ. They play everything from country to rock and roll to a polka. And I definitely don't want to hear one polka. No matter what tune our moms are dancing to, it's time for Gina to lay down the rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. I will present both of your visions to the couple. Only one mom's vision will be chosen, and this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. To take direction from Val would be probably the lowest of low that I could experience. Val, how are you feeling about this? Are you OK? I'm feeling all right about this, because I know I'm going to win. And I can always use the help. Anita, I guess I have no choice. If I have to work with Val, I guess I have to work with her. But I'd like it better if she was working for me. May the best mom win. I'm going to try and do my best to win this so that Ryan and myself, we have a say and that we at least get what we want. My daughter is not getting married in a barn. That will never happen. No way, no how. I don't think these moms realize how difficult this is going to be. They have 48 hours to put this together. They're in it now. They can't back out. And we'll see what happens. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items to explain their wedding vision. I'm a little worried about Anita throwing the wedding because I think it'll cost a ton of money. My vision for my daughter's wedding is fairy tale, so I'm hoping to find some princess items. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. My daughter's getting married. Right, I'd love okay. to see the tiaras. Yep. Here. Oh, they're beautiful. This is the one that That's really has it. the most volume. That's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I have to have it for my princess. Done. If Val was planning our wedding, she'd probably hold it on her farm. Anita's bling is the very opposite of what Val and her partner Ken are shopping for. I need some celery root. These cooked with the pig, perfect. I want some vine ripe. I think it's important to bring this in so that everybody can actually have a sense of where we come from. Can you kind of hurry? Sorry to rush. The clocks run out. Time for the moms to show their visions to Gina. And both have agreed to a destination wedding that will make the couple happy. What is your vision? A rustic country outdoor wedding on a tropical island. OK. Tropical fairy tale princess. This is the hat that I would love to have Ryan wear. The whole country boy kind of thing. I see a beautiful draped canopy with nice, soft, flowing fabric. Twinkle lights have to be a part of the decor. Tiki torches and some shells. Gourmet food. Pig roast. <laughs> fruits and vegetables, you know, the potatoes, the tomatoes, everything, you know, that could be put on a grill. As goes for the cake, Ryan only likes vanilla, and Becky likes her chocolate. I would love to make it, just so that it's homemade. It's from my heart that it's something that I can give to them, that it's just 
from the country, and that explains who I am. Would you like to try a piece? Did you make it? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. I made it myself. It's delicious. Okay. Sold. I need a tiered cake. It has to be at least this tall. I love live music. Has to be a DJ. As goes for the dress, I would like to see something with lace. Very soft, very romantic. And for the bride, my daughter Becky, I envision a beautiful princess gown with a big full skirt, some beautiful beading. I'd also like her to wear beautiful long gloves like Cinderella would. I would like to see do-it-yourself centerpieces. The final touch, a beautiful sparkling tiara. We have a lot to work with here, so let's put together a perfect presentation. And I wish you a lot of luck. Thank you. I really want to win this. My daughter won't let me down. She will pick my vision, and I will deliver it. Val's a little nervous, and then I met Anita, and I was a little nervous, because I think if Anita doesn't win, there's going to be a huge, huge war. It's time for Becky and Ryan to see what their moms have in mind for the big day. What the happy couple don't know is that both their mothers are watching and listening from a secret hiding place. Hi, you guys. Hello. Hi, Ryan. Good Hi. to see you again. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. OK. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Right. Right. OK. Are you ready to see the first presentation? Let's yeah. do it. Wow. Holy pink. Anita's vision is a tropical fairy tale princess wedding. It will take place in a tropical destination. You will arrive at your ceremony by horseback. <laughs> okay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the ceremony will take place under a pink and white chiffon canopy filled with twinkle lights and dramatic bright flowers. I definitely like the twinkle lights, it's very pretty. Becky, your dress would be very dramatic. Strapless with lots of bling around the waist okay. and a giant poofy skirt. It's pretty, but I think it'll be kind of hot for a destination wedding. You'll wear long gloves and a tiara. You'll have a DJ, you will not have a live band. We'd have a served four course dinner for you. Very elegant, very formal. Topped off with a four-tier wedding cake. That's huge. <laughs> four tiers. Your vision's just way too fancy. That's what a wedding looks like. The centerpieces will be large vases filled with floating candles and very brightly colored flowers. That's very pretty. I love those flowers. The candles is a good touch, too. Are you ready to see presentation number two? Yeah, I'm excited. Definitely. <laughs> this is amazing. Val's vision is an outdoor rustic country wedding in a tropical destination. This is so hillbilly. Because Val is from a small town, she'd like to have the wedding in a local village. The aisle would be filled with tiki torches and mason jars filled with candles to make it rustic and romantic. Ryan, you would wear the adventurer hat. That is almost as cool as the horses. <laughs> <laughs> Becky, you would be in a lace gown off the shoulders, the skirt would be very long and flowing. You'll be switching to flip-flops later in the evening. Cool. Good for a tropical destination. Mary. Why don't you just get married in a bikini? Music. A live band, not a DJ. Val will pick the band. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the mustard? The menu. A very traditional down-home tropical buffet. Barbecue jerk chicken, whole fish. Let's have a picnic in the backyard, shall we? Your mom will have her hand in all of this, including the menu. She may even be behind the grill. That would be amazing. Well, not for her, but for the food, it would be great. She's very into locally grown fruits and vegetables, topped off with a homemade wedding cake, vanilla and chocolate. Something for each of us. I like chocolate and you like vanilla. And Ryan, your mom actually made the cake. The centerpieces, do it yourself. It's interactive, so Val's thought was that people could really have their hand in creating these centerpieces. Arts and crafts. At a wedding. <laughs> yeah, do, 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 paint by numbers, yeah, yeah. My mom's vision is a lot more extravagant, whereas this one is just downscaled, but it's still very beautiful. Take some time to really think about the decision you're going to make. Good luck. Anita and Val are cut off while Becky and Ryan make their big decision. Which mom will be their wedding winner? 
I just think it's a little bit too much pink. I'm having trouble finding where things have been thrown in for me, and I don't even want to know how much it costs. I do really love the centerpieces, though. I love the orchids and the flowers and the candles together. It's all very elegant and very classy. I like that she's put a lot of effort into making it look like something that would make us proud to be there and make, make for a, a great event. But this is a tropical thing. Like, I'm going to be sitting in a suit all day in, in the blazing sun. Yeah. Like, does that work? That's what I'm not excited about is the dress, although it is very pretty. And I do love the rhinestone belts across it that she had said. The fullness, I just don't think it's fitting for a destination wedding. It is really nice looking, though. I think she was going with the princess theme, right? So everything is very extravagant, and including the dress. Despite the couple things that I'm really a little bit unsure of, I really do think my mom did an amazing job of Definitely. putting together this theme for us, because it's really down to earth. I've never had your mom's cake before. It's pretty good, actually. Here, try some. I want some of the chocolate. The chocolate? OK, well, I'll eat this. Mm. Oh, it's so good. This whole live band thing that's still killing me. I don't want to be listening to country all night. I love live music, but... Maybe I'm... I can play. <laughs> yeah, you'd be about as good as the band my mom chooses. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I think it'll be fun. Live music always gets the crowd going. I am really worried about it, though. I think we kind of know which direction we're going in. Do you want to tell Gina? I think I can do it. I don't know if I would feel so confident in telling the decision to our moms. I can man up. I got this one. OK. Hopefully the moms don't take it too hard. Yeah. Have you made your decision? We have. Well, wait. Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <gasps> Becky, Ryan, your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. <laughs> so please tell us, what is your decision? Well, I think that we've decided to go with... my mom's vision. <laughs> I just can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> Woo! Honestly, this feels better than shooting a deer. You're gonna be all right, Mom? I thought it was what you wanted, but I guess I was wrong. Sorry, Mom. I've never had any luck telling my mom what to do, so good luck to Val. I don't plan to take this assistant business lying down. Congratulations, Val. Thank you. <laughs> Remember, the couple chose your vision, so it's important that that's what you deliver. Let's go. I'm ready. And Anita, you're going to be Val's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull the wedding together. Anita is probably going to be one of the worst wedding assistants ever. All right, moms, we've got one week to plan this wedding. Let's get to work. I'll make sure I sneak something in there that will throw Val on her side and have her head spinning. I can't believe I'm going on an island with these people. Yeah! First stop is all about taking care of the wedding menu. How does this store have anything to do with a wedding? Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. Are we going camping? I've never been camping. I certainly don't want to go camping, and especially not for my daughter's wedding. This is what I need to cook. I can grill on this, chicken and fish on here. I'd like to make sure that I have all the right equipment, just in case it's not there. And you're going to grill it in your beautiful dress? Yes. And you're going to be doing up some burgers? Oh, no, no. That's not happening. Anita. If you want to get smoke in your hair and in your clothes, I won't. Stop being such a city snob and just do what I'm nope, asking you sorry. to do. And if not, you know what? You're going to ruin everything for everybody. And if that's what you want to do for your daughter, then so be it. But this is what we're going to do. Anita's being a little bit of a pain in my She's done nothing but give me a hard time since I've started this. Anita, your attitude really sucks. I want to be the hostess to the people who are there, not the shorter to cook. As Anita recovers from her aversion to cooking, the moms shop for Val's do-it-yourself centerpieces. Val, I don't even know what we're doing here. How can we possibly be doing arts and crafts at a wedding? This is what's going to be our centerpieces. So can you work with me? I can't believe that my daughter voted for this vision. What are your favorite paint colors? Hey, how about bright fuchsia? No. 
Pink's good. No, this is stupid. It's not stupid, just work with me. You're my assistant, so I really need you to be on your toes and do what I ask. Oh, glitter. There you go. Here's one for you there. Could you load me up any more? Okay, I'm gonna try. Here you go. Okay, let's go put some glitter on these centerpieces. I'm just happy to put them down. Do you want to see the silver or would you like just gold? Come on, Anita, we can do this. Think of it this way, memories. What do you see for yours? Flowers? Oh, it's a surprise. What are you doing? That looks like a kindergarten kid did it. You know what? I never claim to be creative. This is your gig, not mine. See how breezy this kind of looks? Look at the color. Do another one. Try a little bit harder. You want color? How's that? Oh. There Anita, we go. come oh, on. Oh, this is fantastic. There that? we go. Oh. Are you going to work with me at all? I'm done. I showed her exactly what my talent was. It's just a complete disgrace. That just shows no respect for me or even what I'm trying to accomplish. Tempers are flaring, but the moms hold it together because Becky's most important element for the wedding is next. Well, I just want you to know today, I'm not helping you pick dresses. I'm picking my own dresses, and that's just the way it'll be. I'm sick of your attitude. You do yours, and I'll be fine. I will be doing my own thing. Good. Luckily, Becky can't witness the bickering because she's blindfolded. She won't see her dress until the big wedding day. And it's Val's decision. Okay, Beck, I found the most beautiful dresses for you to try, and you gotta try these on. You love Anita, the material. I need You love everything about them. Stop. I'm the winner. My theme. Your theme sucks. She's wrong. You know what, Val? Do you know what? I'm not wrong. Stop. Both of you need to cool it because, Mom, you need to let it go. I don't know why you're making it about you. We chose Val's theme. We need to try on her dresses today. Not even one? Please. Not one. Mom, your stop dress. arguing. Please. Your you know what? I'm out of here. Well, Becky, here's the dresses, and they're going to be beautiful. I'm not surprised that my mom and Val aren't getting along. She's kind of being the sore loser. Wow. Oh, right. my God, that is the most hideous dress I've ever seen in my life. What's that thing on the shoulder? That's Becky, a flower. it's disgusting. An island flower. It's absolutely disgusting. It makes you look like you're a whale. Should How not could be you say that makes her look like that? It's ugly. I'm so frustrated because my mom and Val keep arguing, and it's just stressing me out. This Please. is just the first one. Well, I hope you have more because this one ain't cutting it. Cutting. I would die before I let her wear that. <gasps> wow, this is perfect. It makes her figure look great. Everything about this, it's beautiful. I have one word for it. Yeah. Her attitude, it just sucks. I just can't believe that she's going this far. If it continues like this, the wedding will be a disaster. Wow. That's beautiful. Imagine this with the breeze. It's beautiful. No, it's it's not. Once oh, again, you've struck out Anita, three times. Anita. I think you're out of here. No, nope, this is perfect. There's no way in hell that you're putting my daughter in this wedding dress. Anita, you have been in my face all day. It's done. My decision will be one of the last two dresses that we've seen. There's this no way. is not crap. I'm going to disappoint this her is not and the rest of my family because Anita. this is unacceptable. Do you know what, ladies? I've Everybody's had it. Gonna Stop. Laugh. I've had it. I want to be done with this. This is my day. You keep ruining it, and this is supposed to be about me. I want the dress off, the blindfold off. I'm out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. Nice one, Val. Hope you're happy. Hello, Gina. I'm calling Gina because right now I'm having an awful time, and that's not what I signed up for. I just called to tell you that I'm done. I have no bride. I have no assistant. I think I have a dress, but really, I don't even know where I'm going or what I'm doing anymore. This is absolutely turned into a nightmare. Everything will fall apart unless Gina can save the big day. I'm here to check on Becky. It sounded like she doesn't even want to get married anymore. I've never heard you as upset as I did when you called me. Are you OK? Well, no. <laughs> After what happened yesterday, it was absolutely chaotic. It was my mom and Val. I had arguments coming at me from all angles. I just felt ugly and out of place. And my mom even told me that I looked like a whale. What? I know. The two of them arguing has just brought a whole nother stress level to this that I can't take anymore. I was up here before, I was so excited, and now I'm just crashing. I just 
have no faith anymore. I'm done. You have to understand, your mom is extremely angry. She lost. Val won. It's Val's vision. But I really need you on board here. Val picked you out a beautiful gown. I saw it. It's perfect. I will deal with Val and Anita. Just you deal with making yourselves happy. As long as Gina can make you happy, then we can do it. You guys have to do it. As long as you can take care of them, because I don't even want to talk to them at this point. Focus on packing, focus on each other, focus on something else. I will fix this. Just promise me you'll be on that plane. We can promise that. All right. Thanks, Gina. Good luck with that. With two days before the wedding, Gina meets with the moms before there's more turbulence. I have never seen Becky so upset. I had to talk to Val and Anita. I just left Becky. I had to talk her off the ledge. What happened? The problem is that Val's vision is totally out there. And the dresses, I wouldn't be caught dead in those dresses. We're going camping. We're cooking our own food. We're doing arts and crafts. Who does that at a wedding, Gina? That's that is why ridiculous. I want. No. Anita, did you call Becky a whale? OK. I did. Yes, her own daughter. I meant the dress that Val picked made her look. But you would never call your daughter. You really should is. never call your daughter a it's whale. It's the dress. Okay, girls. It's two days before the wedding. You've got to get your act together, or this wedding is not going to happen. Anita, I know your dream is for Becky to be a princess on her wedding day. We're here at my favorite bridal gown and accessory store. I want you to go upstairs. Bling it out. The tiara, yes. the bracelet, the necklace, Perfect. do it up. Perfect. Whatever's up there, you can have. I awesome. honestly don't know why Gina's giving Anita any leeway to get to do anything. I mean, it's not her theme, it's mine. And to top it off, at this destination, if you can find a horse, we will have Becky ride to the ceremony on horseback. Woo! Yes, baby! But that's it, that's all you get. It's Val Strass. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a sick horse, doesn't it? How the heck is Ryan and Becky even going to ride in on a horse? Like, I'm not even sure if they even know how to ride a horse. I need you to grab the accessories, get to the airport, and when you get off that plane, Val, you have two days to plan this entire wedding, OK? I'm out of here. Now get going. I had to give Anita something. They were never going to play nice. Ay, ay, ay. Anita's now in charge and takes Val on a shopping spree for everything bling. Can you step up there for me? Why? I want to look at my blank canvas. Time for you to be a princess. I bet you can hardly wait. Oh, I'm counting the moments. I found the most beautiful things here. I found a birdcage hairpiece. Oh my god. How about some beads? I think Becky would look beautiful in these. Pearl necklace. This is princess all the way. But it's not a princess theme. This is the bling bling I'm talking about. These might work a little better. I found big dangly earrings with lots of bling. This is just wrong in every way. Oh, Val. What would a princess be without a garter on her wedding day? Oh, hot, hot, baby, hot. I love accessories. Here we go, a little bling bling over here. See, this is why you didn't win. I got this beautiful jacket for you over here. You can't be serious about oh, this. Oh, I'm serious. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Every princess needs a glass slipper. Try these on. Oh, my. In a mean kind of way, I'm getting back at her for what she's done to me. You might have to hold on. With all this crap on, I might fall over. She thinks I look like a princess. She's out of her mind. Becky's going to look, well, ridiculous. And the final crowning glory. The beautiful veil. You can't really. I am so loving the veil. This is why you didn't win. This is true princess material. Maybe not all the things together, but true elements for a princess that my Freak daughter show. would Freak love. Show. Now that Anita's had her a little accessory fun, maybe she'll have that out of her system and we can actually get down to work now. As Becky and Ryan enjoy the sun, Gina knows it'll take more than mojitos to make Val's wedding vision a reality. Hi. Welcome to the Bahamas. Hi, Gina. Hi, how are you? Cheers. I see you've already started celebrating. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Becky and Ryan, enjoy yourselves. Girls, hand over your drinks. We have so much work to do. No, really? Already? Finish up. Later. First on the list, Val has to find the wedding venue. 
Val. Where are you taking us? Well, I'm looking for the right spot. Where are um, we going to have a wedding in here, Val? We're looking. Yeah. We're looking. We'll look um, till the cows come home. Val, I think we went a little off the radar. Why don't yeah. you go around? Let's go towards the water. Go How around this way, Val. Okay. I will find the perfect spot. Yeah. In this yeah. bush? I don't think so. Wow. This is what I want. This is perfect. This is my vision. The turquoise water, the beach, the sand, it's perfect. And there's even a building for her rustic village theme. Val, I know you love it. There are a thousand things wrong with this place. You cannot have a horse here, and you can't have a pig roast. And I get a horse, so there's no way I'm not having my horse. I see no way to get the guests here. The bride can't come this way. No. I will. Way in hell is Becky trekking through this for us. Uh, you being the wedding planner, can you make this happen for me? Can you do this somehow? I can make the ceremony work here. The biggest problem is I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to get the bride here. There is no path. There's no place for her to walk. I can't get her here to her own ceremony. So I have to think of something. All right, girls, let's get started. We have a lot to do. All right, let's bring people here. Let's get people here for the rehearsal. Okay. You girls head to the market, and I'm going to scout out a dinner spot. OK. All right? All right. Let's go. Two hours, girls. This is the worst possible scenario for a wedding planner. It has just turned into a full blown out nightmare. Hi, hey, ladies. How, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How can I help you ladies today? I'm cooking fish at my son's wedding. Okay. And my daughter. Don't forget my daughter. I need fish for 20 people. I need a variety. So what do you got to give me? I can give you guys a hand if you want to come down. Awesome. Let me show you what I got. All right. All right. All right. Thank you. What's your best fish? Main snapper. And this one? Yeah, good fish here. OK. These are the larger ones. These are the smaller snappers. Barracudas. Oh, Ooh, barracudas. Yeah, yeah, this is gross. Anita, you're feeding this at We're the wedding? We're on the island. Fish are disgusting. How about filet mignon? My wedding, my plan, my theme. This is what I want. I want some fish. It's time for me to put up and Anita to shut up. Seriously. We'll go with red snapper. Snappers. Yep, some red snapper and... Some margarine fish. Yeah. Everything is going to stink like fish. My dress, Becky's dress, I can't even believe that I might have to cook it, and I'm dreading every minute of serving this at the wedding. Well, wow. it's a big bag of fish. Yeah. Trust wow. me, you guys will enjoy it. Next on the list, the rehearsal. If the guests can ever get there. Come on, guys. It's this way. Our guests Woo. are really going down this hill? Are you kidding me? Oh, gee, you're so nice to help me, Val. <laughs> We could be in a beautiful atmosphere, but no, we're trekking through the Is this the not jungle. beautiful? Is this crap, Val. Oh, shut up. How much further is this? Right here, Just, we're almost here. I think I'm going to pass out. I am dying. I ain't carrying you. Go figure. Is there anything else you got to complain about? I have much more to come, my friend. I can't believe we're in a place where our guests have to trek to get to my daughter's wedding. I'm so frustrated. Look at guys, isn't this awesome? The water, the sun, the sand. You know what, Val? It. It's not half bad. Thank you. It's much better than I thought it would be. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. Thank you. Oh. Woo! <laughs> okay, guys, follow me. Let's run the rehearsal. Val and Ken, you're gonna walk to the center. Okay. And then veer off right here. My best man and my maid of honor. And you'll be facing him. And Anita and Leo, you're gonna be walking in with Becky? Yes. You can go straight, straight up the middle. All right, perfect. Look at the person across from you. That's where you should be standing tomorrow. OK, let's get married. Yeah. Yeah. With waves crashing and the Caribbean sun setting, the rehearsal dinner is underway. Honestly, we have no idea where the moms have been all day. We still don't have any idea as to what is going on, where we're going to be, what I'm going to be wearing. I know there's been a lot of hard work, especially from both of our mothers put into this. And we are very grateful because we just didn't have a whole lot of time to put into this. I'm going to cry. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, like Ryan said, we appreciate everybody coming tonight. And we look forward to having you there to celebrate with us tomorrow. Thank you again, everybody, for coming. It really means a lot to us. They're counting on you. I know. And you. And I'm there for you. Good. As much as I haven't been, Push comes to shove, I'm there. <laughs> <laughs>
Anita, she really has to be there for me tomorrow. If not, then everything's just going to fall apart. It's the morning of the wedding, and while Gina gets to work building the ceremony site, there's one wedding element that can't be avoided any longer, the dress. Hopefully, she likes the one Val picked out. Guys, I'm really nervous. I really want to see what this looks like. I want the dress off, the blindfold off. I'm out of here. You guys are driving me crazy. All right, I'm going for it. I'm taking it off. So what do you think? Beautiful. <laughs> Love it. I was a little bit worried, but it's gorgeous. This dress is beautiful. It's more than I could have ever imagined. I am so excited that Becky loves her dress. I'm speechless, even myself. Even though I didn't pick the dress, uh, seeing Becky's reaction really did make me feel good. Honey, I think you look beautiful, but I have one more big surprise. To complete your outfit, a beautiful veil. Once your hair is out, looks nice. And these. I hope you like them. They're beautiful. I think the veil looks beautiful with the dress, and the earrings set everything off. She looks amazing. Wow. I look great. <laughs> you sure do. They're lovely. I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. To be honest, I didn't really love my mom's accessories, but I had to pretend that I did just for her sake, and I know it made her happy. Guys, I hate to break up this moment, but now we have to figure out how we're going to get her there. How did they not have a plan for me to get to my own wedding? Val, you better figure it out, because this has to happen. We're working on it. I'm really freaking out right now, because I still don't know how I'm getting to my wedding ceremony, and it's just too much for me to handle. With that, it's a mad dash to the venue to prep and figure out how to get the bride to the beach. These are heavy. Val, okay. this is still your vision. All right. So the tiki torches, the mason jars, we have to secure that palm on that okay. arch. Let's make sure we secure these in. It's pretty windy here. Val? Yeah. Let's put that one in that back right. This one? Just so it covers, yeah, the wood right there. OK. Anita, hurry up and get those shells. I'm coming. Hurry Relax. Up. Just what? put them in between. Come on, Relax. we're, we're running Relax. out of time. Where do you want them? Along the aisle. We'll just make sure that this walkway is rock-free. Gina, this is all well and good, but we won't have a wedding without the bride. What's going on with the bride? I'll get the bride here. You girls have 20 minutes. I need you to finish the finishing touches. I need you to get dressed. Leave the bride to me. As the guests make their way down the beach, ready or not, it's time for the wedding. There's the moms and Ryan, but there's one important person missing. Now we just need the bride. There she, is. there she is. It may not be a horse, but it's got a lot of horsepower since getting a real horse through the dense jungle proved troublesome. Now, with the bride and despite all the bickering, Ryan and Becky's wedding can commence. Val walks down the aisle with her partner Ken. Here comes Anita, Becky's dad Leo, and the bride. Ryan and Rebecca. You have told me and you have told others that your love for one another is the most amazing gift that you have received. Ryan and Rebecca, a good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having mutual sense of values and objectives. It is standing together, facing the world. It is form forming a cycle that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. Never allow anything to be more important than you and your pledge to spend your life together. Remember that the secret to a long and healthy marriage is not in choosing the right partner, 
but in being the right partner. Now, Ryan, I must ask you, would you have Rebecca for your wedded wife? I will. Rebecca, would you receive Ryan for your wedded husband? Heck yes. <laughs> <laughs> With this ring? With this ring? I the wed. I the wed. Put it on. With this ring? With this ring? I the wed. I the wed. Put it on. <laughs> It is now, therefore, my joyful pleasure to acknowledge you in the eyes of the law as husband and wife. Congratulations. And, sir, you may now perform your first official task as a husband and kiss your wife. <laughs> Yay, yeah. yeah, we're married! We're married, yeah. I don't know what to say, but, you know. That was good. My daughter was a perfect bride. She wasn't a princess bride, I'll give you that, but she was a beautiful bride. Stunning. And my son, the hat, said it all. Gina really pulled it off in the last hour. She found a boat, she brought my daughter here. Big props to Gina, she was awesome. You imagine yourself getting married, but you never imagine it'll be this beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better day. <laughs> Yee frickin' haw! <laughs> Not so fast, Val. Next, it's pig roast out, fish barbecue in at the reception. Hey, okay, Val, what are we doing? You need to put some fish on. It smells! No, 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 no. Stinks. All right, here you go. Oh, that's yours? Whew. I'm gonna stink like fish. I'll give you a spritz of perfume. How am I doing? You're doing good. Now maybe try and flip your fish. Flip it over. <laughs> See, isn't this fun? Oh, yay. <laughs> over here, fresh fish. That smells good. Mm. We didn't get our pig roast in the end, but the fish was absolutely amazing. It was delicious. Everybody loved it. We did it. Wasn't so bad, was it? Yeah, but I stink. This is by far the most adventurous wedding that I've ever been a part of. This really brought both moms together. They worked so hard, and there's a new love there. On behalf of Ryan and myself, we would like to thank everybody for coming to our beautiful wedding celebration that we've had here in the Bahamas. Moms, you guys raw. We couldn't have done a better jobs ourselves. You guys worked together, and you pulled off a beautiful event for everybody to enjoy. Props. It's all about you, my friends. Love you. Cheers, Val. Cheers. Party on, guys. Everything's been amazing from start to finish. The rustic village, walking down the aisle to the fresh fish on the barbecue. The live music turned out to be a great hit amongst everybody, and it turned out to be better than a DJ. Everything has been amazing. I wasn't really sure about Val's homemade centerpiece creation thingamajigs, but they turned out to be great, and all the guests had a lot of fun making them. I didn't get my horse. But guess what? I got to come in on a boat, which is going super fast. If you're happy, I'm happy. And we're all happy. This was definitely a difficult venue. It was hard to pull Val's vision off, but in the end, she almost got everything she wanted. It was a beautiful affair. Your cake looks amazing, Mom. This looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We were like this, and now we're like this. We're a big, happy family. It's been great. Good. It's just the perfect ending for Becky and Ryan. I would like to say, Yee frickin' ha. <laughs> <laughs>